Hey friends, welcome to a special Tekoa talk. You just have me today, no Pastor Austin, but I am really excited to be talking about something special that we celebrate in the church called Good Friday. Now we have Easter Sunday, which is coming up. And if you go to tekoachurch.org slash Easter, you'll have all the details about our Easter celebrations. But as a church, we also celebrate this thing called Good Friday, which happens the Friday before. And Good Friday is a day of remembering the sacrifice that Jesus had for us. He died on the cross for us. He lived the perfect life and was the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. And so as a church, we take time to celebrate Good Friday as more of a mourning. It's a memorial of what happened thousands of years ago. And so we get to celebrate Easter and it's a joyful and happy thing. But to truly appreciate and celebrate Easter, we have to start with Good Friday. And for those that were there on Good Friday, it was not a Good Friday. And actually, Good Friday used to be called God's Friday because Good Friday is the day that Jesus died. And for those of you that maybe don't know, Jesus paid the ultimate price for our sins. And so those that were following Jesus, his disciples, his friends, his family, they believed he was the savior that had come to rescue them. God created a perfect earth and he created this beautiful garden called Eden and then sin came into the world. And because of sin, we lost relationship with God. And so we needed a way, a bridge to come back to God. And that's where Jesus comes in. So he lived this perfect life. And then all of a sudden he's gone. And so Good Friday was a day that was really not so good. It was a day where Mary, his mother, was mourning. His disciples were in hiding because they didn't know what was going to happen. And so I'm thankful that we're on the other side of Good Friday. We're on the other side of Easter where we know and have the hope that Jesus rose, that his resurrection is that bridge back to God, that we get to be in relationship with him. But on that Good Friday, it was heavy and it was sad and it was yucky. And maybe you find yourself in a middle today. Maybe you find yourself struggling and you're not quite sure where the good is or where the hope is. I'm here to tell you today that because we live with the hope of Jesus, we have hope for today. And so I want to read a little bit of scripture because it talks about the goodness of Jesus and why he did what he did and why we have hope when we're stuck in that middle, that it's good for us to remember and recognize what he did, but we don't have to be stuck in that, that we get to live in the hope that we have for today because of what Jesus did. So Romans 5, 6 says this. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one who will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even to die. But God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And so friends, there is good news for today because of Jesus, but it's also worth sitting in that middle and remembering that there was this yucky, weird time in the middle of not knowing what was coming, but there is good coming and we have hope for today. So make sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions about Good Friday or if you're just wanting to know more, feel free to comment below. We'd love to have a conversation with you about this season and what it means. And make sure to check out Easter this Sunday, April 4th at tocoachurch.org slash Easter. Have a great week, guys.